there's Dean screaming. So I'm gonna paint the picture for you. It's 9.08. I'm about to drive around this parking lot. Angelo is in for his doctor checkup and then we're going to the museum. And right before this, we've, we've been in the car almost an hour already because right before this we dropped off Angelo's car and it was just a whole mess of things. But anyways, Dean is exhausted. He's up since six and it's like 9, 10. Um, Angelina is pushing through. She slept till 7.40. I'm about to drive around the parking lot. It is raining. I'm just gonna show you guys. We got, we got my phone right there, hold on. We got my phone playing music, which I obviously stopped. Um, we're pushing through. He took off because of this doctor's appointment. It's just his yearly checkup. And I was like, good, let's go to the museum. We're gonna go to this one in Connecticut, not the one in Long Island that we usually go to. We're gonna go enjoy and have fun with that. And I have breakfast in the car for her. I heated up like uh, some pancakes I made yesterday, but she doesn't want any. She ate one and I had like half of one. And yeah, so time to circle the parking lot, put this music on with YouTube. This is like my setup to try to get Dean to try to nap, but I know he's not gonna nap until we get on the parkway. All right, buddy, I love you. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> snow, bud. Where's the snow? <laughs> it's the snow. It is snowing. Angelo and Angelina ran up ahead. I got little man and we're here. Whoa, it's cold. Are you excited? Yeah? This is a special place for you. Dean! Where do you want to go, Mama? Wanna shake the ground Wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting Gotta make that move All the neon signs Now they shout to me and you To write our story Wanna shape the news Those are all the tools. 
with real dinosaur stuff. It's cool. He ran right to it. He was like, <sighs> like, keep it with your eye, not too close. This is like our wet sand or kinetic sand. Wow. Kind of like the beach when we're walking in the sand, we leave our footprints behind. Like that dinosaur, it left its footprints behind, and that's how we know about it. Wow. And we have different animals. What about a squirrel? This is what a squirrel's feet looks like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Go ahead, Mama, in the sand. You do it, you do it. Daddy. He's absorbing it. He yeah. is in it. We're going to test you in a little bit, right? That's Whoa, amazing. that is so cool. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, oh, you found the bugs. Our scorpion or our cockroach. <laughs> we got it. If we're talking dinosaurs and paleontology, we got to talk about the cockroach. <laughs> what do you think, Dean? Excellent. Good job. I guess you'll be here for hours then. <laughs> right. we're, we're learning. You have a paleontologist. You have a scientist on your hand right here. That's awesome. That's amazing. Great job. Hello, hello. Oh, that's the gorilla. That's that one. You want an umbrella? Well, that's fitting for the water, weather. Um, just changed her because she was soaked from the water room. Dean, we're spiraling and we've been here for three hours, so it's time to go. We're in the gift shop and we're gonna get a couple of things for them. And then you're gonna take a nap hopefully on the way home and she's gonna take a nap hopefully on the way home. And it's gonna be great. <laughs>
it's two o'clock. They are both sleeping. We are on our way home. I just dropped Angelo at the dealership, which is really funny because this morning I was going to the wrong dealership. I was going to my dealership that was right by our house to pick him up um, because he left ahead before us and dropped off his car. So I would have gone to the wrong dealership. So anyways, um, we were there for over three hours. Like she got soaked at the end with this water table hole thing that they did and I knew it. I knew it. That's why I put snow boots on her so that that was one less. Anyways, it's still snowing, raining, icing, crazy out. I'm going to take the slow way home and just let them both stay passed out. So sorry if you hear my wipers. Um, but yeah, we had a good time. Um, the museum, I have to say, it was good. It was a little busy because it was a Wednesday, but I think it was a lot of like nannies there and moms just trying to get out. When we left around 1.30, I want to say, um, it started getting a little bit busy. So I was like, okay, it's good, but let's get out of here. I guess a lot of kids who maybe have like a half day of school, like daycare, whatever, they go in the afternoon then to the museum. I mean, that's a good thing to just get out and get some play time and let them run. Um, all in all, I think it's okay. I have a lot of friends that really like this museum. They go all the time or they go pretty frequently. I mean, I kind of, I have to say, I like the one in Long Island better. Me and Angela were talking about it. I, I personally feel like it's cleaner. I don't know why I like the layout of it better. Um, I think it's like the way that it's more open. I feel safer me myself managing both kids on my own or even with Angelo I just feel like I can like have a better lay of the land like visually to see um the price for this one was only like two dollars more per person so it wasn't like anything what is that eight dollars more for all of us um because Dean is included he has to he's not free I think most of the museums over here by us are like if they're under a year old it's free for the kid but otherwise it's this was $16 each the one in Long Island I think is $14 each I want to say um the one about Long Island is just that we have to go over the bridge and it's like seems like um it's a little further but it's really not it's really the same amount this is just the straight way up um I mean I thought it was okay I thought it was a good museum Dean's head right now is like I'm just watching it bobble forward um and she's passed out she's even like this like they were non-stop um the only thing is like the one thing that really 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 irked me was you just smell like chlorine and like mold through the whole place i don't know maybe it's because i'm so sensitive because of just how i am naturally but the whole water area they obviously have chlorine in the water the kids are drinking the water i mean it was just like mm -mm. i was like you could take her i'm done with that um I smelt that throughout the whole entire museum because you know your feet get wet over there you're trekking the water I just that's just not my thing the Long Island one is cool because it has like the bubble station so the bubbles I just feel like it's cleaner and it smells good um, and what was the other thing I mean they had good food there we got like her some pizza chicken nuggets and french fries I mean it was it was like decent I made sandwiches and food anyway but that was nice to have the option versus the one in Long Island is just like a cafeteria where you bring your food and that's it they have vending machines and they have a microwave and stuff like that but I hear her snoring but the one in Long Island their cleaning crew is like on top of it like everything is so clean spick and span from the cafeteria to the entire place I feel like it's just like it feels cleaner it feels a little bit nicer Whereas this one in Connecticut, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sold on it. I don't know if I would go back. Um, definitely will go back to the one in Long Island for like a fourth time very soon. I'll probably go again next week with the kids. I think my girlfriend's going to come with her son and um, we'll meet up there. I'm going to text her when I get home because I was just like, she went the other day to this one. She went recently and she was telling me. Um, so anyways, um, but I think I'm going to definitely go to the one in Long Island back soon again, probably next week or whatever. I'll take them by myself because I feel comfortable. But yeah, all in all, I mean, it was still a good way to get out, get some fresh air, especially with this weather. This weather is so nasty. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here, make it home safely, take my time. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!